Morning and welcome back to another Subi Shaves video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Squad goals and finger guns blazing. Thank you so much for clicking into my video and for joining me for a beautiful shave. Wherever you're coming from, wherever you're watching from, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. Grab yourself something cold and delicious and a comfy chair because today we're going to be doing a battle review, guys. I'm so excited. We're going to be comparing how the brand new brass v2 the yachi adjustable v2 final cut in full cnc brass how it compares to the previous variation in z mac the v the i don't know the v4 this is the final cut version guys the final cut version against the final cut in brass both are absolutely awesome adjustable razors especially for the money value this is like 30 bucks and i just i really enjoy this how this shapes but I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I got this in the mail, the first thing I thought of was, this is really well built. It is absolutely 100% fully CNC brass. Every single um, part on it's brass. It is a little heftier. It has really good tight fit and finish. And I know that there's been some kind of back and forth discussion in the community about the price and the quality that was received by some of the other people. Well, they're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how they shave side by side. We're going to do this as a standard typical battle shave, guys. Battle shave where we go over one and then compare it with the other to see if one of them performs better and how they compare side by side. Yes, I'm really excited. It's something I've been wanting to do and finally I'm able to do it and we're going to talk about it. We're going to be going over, we're going to be using A&E's new, I just picked this up, brand new scent to me. We're going to call it DG Barbaris. <laughs> the DD Barbarera because I don't want to massacre a beautiful beautiful language here but it's really beautiful you can see i actually pre i did a test lather with it because the scent's so complex really beautiful scent it's very nice it's got like a barbershop scent to it but then a mango note in the back that's like splashed in really nice we're gonna go on top of that with Haya from mammoth because i love this barbershop scent it's really nice and i think it's gonna pair really well with um with a and e's with peter's the DD Barbarera. I do have this already pre-lathered up in my PAA Moonscape Scuttle, which if you don't have one, get one. Go below, click that store link and get yourself one of these. I love the, the Moonscape Scuttle. It's getting colder and nothing beats warm lather. I'm telling you, nothing beats a warm lather. We're going to be rocking out with our mountain hair shaving. This is the um, space brush that Jeremy made for me. Over at Mountain Hair Shaving, you can see it's already whipped up and lathered on the dome. And I absolutely love this brush. And if you guys haven't, go below, smash that sub button. Let's get to a thousand because we're giving one of these away. We are giving away a beautiful Mountain Hair Shaving brush. If you haven't seen it, go. I did um, do a review, like a, a post on about it. Beautiful, beautiful brush. I'm really excited to be offering that as a giveaway item. Okay, so before we start this, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the razor and how it compares to some of the counterparts and some of the things that it's that are on the market currently. First and foremost, we're going to be looking at the Pearl razor. This is the Pearl. Take a look at the length of the handle. You guys can see it is longer just by ever slightly amount. They both have that flat base. And you can see that the bar, like the lather channel, right? The lather channel holes. Very similar for me. This is a more rounded cap and it's a more aggressive angle down on the blade. So this is going to feel a lot different than it is on the final cut. The final cut, you can see the um, head cap is not quite as, ag as aggressive on that blade angle. The next one I wanted to showcase, and I think it's in my pocket, is in my pocket. I was smart about it. I've got the, this is the Rex Ambassador XL. Now this is a very expensive razor on my left. And I wanted to show you this because um, Rex offers an extra long handle. Whereas Yashi's calling theirs the extra long. Take a look. They are very different. So if you're reaching for this razor and or this razor, say you bought this one and it was too long, this right here may be the better one for you. Take a look. Just to give you guys an idea again, this one right here is like really long, whereas this one's more of like an in-between. I want to show you the Rex standard length versus this one. Take a look. You can see it's definitely longer than the Rex standard length and it's longer than the Final Cut V2. You see, or V3, I mean. Just the final cut. I'm not going to say V. Just the final cut. It's longer than the final cut version in ZMAC. You see that? Just ever slightly. So it is the longer V2 version of the brass razor. And I really do like it. I think it's the fit and finish on mine is nice. I did see a couple people on Facebook that bought this razor. It came in the mail. And when they tightened it down, they, they twisted everything down. What ended up happening was the bar and the spring inside kind of mushed. 
so it no longer adjusted evenly. It did this, it kind of wobbled up, which was a problem The Pearl Flexi, this razor right here had for like a long time. Some of them still come out that way. Some people said they had that problem with this razor, right? Well, when they reached out to Yachty and they said, we're having problems with the adjustment, you actually said, you know, it's the spring, you've bent the spring, we're not warrantying it. So it kind of sucks. You spend a hundred and this is 120 bucks, right? 120 bucks or the first ones were even more money and it didn't let, it didn't adjust the same, you know, it had problems with adjustment if you over tightened or had problems with, you know, really tightening down the screw or this as you're assembling it. I'm going to start shaving as we talk. I'm going to start shaving as we talk because there's a lot going on here. Um, I know that this razor is one of those ones that a lot of us were looking forward to, especially because it was an adjustable in a budgetary, in a, in a price that was very, very doable, right? The $30 price was awesome on their first variation. Well, then they released this and said, well, we'd love to have a razor that's going to last. Full brass? I mean, come on. Full brass. Where else are you getting a fully CNC brass razor? Every component is fully brass, right? For under a hundred, or like for, okay, it's like 120 bucks. Now the brass um, pearl, Flexi is very similar. It's 80 bucks, right? Full brass again. But this has got some plating issues for me. It definitely had some problems on the finish, whereas this does not. It is the finish on it. It's incredible. It is a coated brass product, guys. Coated brass. And I know some people said that they were really angry about the coated because it's not going to patina, right? And I, you could remove the um, coating if you wanted to. You could get in there and polish off the coating. I'm not going to. I don't like mine to be kind of that um, shinier uh, coating surface. And you can see, look at this. It's not, it's not shiny, but it's not matte. It's beautiful. It's really nice. I like the coating on it a lot. I'm using, right now we're using some of the, um, these are Nacet blades. These are the purple, um, purple, uh, the purple little box alligator blades. I really like these in this razor. For me, the final cut razors, and I'm right now I'm shaving on max. This is on six, right? This is on max. For me, the final cut is a, almost a blade neutral fill. It feels to me like a, the, the blade neutral razors where there's just no real blade fill to it at all. Even with really aggressive blades, like no blade fill whatsoever, but the heft of it and the angle of the blade produce a really good shave. We're on 24 hours here. And you can see it just knocks it down. It's really nice. And it's not a razor I'm fighting. It's weird. It's a razor for me that has such little blade fill that I almost don't realize I'm shaving. And then I, I, I don't put up, pulls all the lather off. It's so different than the Rex, right? The Rex razor that's like this, you know immediately as it touches the skin. Whereas this, you kind of, you really don't, <laughs> you, you really don't have flinch. There's no flinching to it. There's no like, oh, okay, that's going to, you know, it's going to bite me. I have to go really careful. I don't feel like that with, at all with this razor. I feel like this razor honestly is the one of the best intro to adjustable razors I could offer or recommend, in my opinion. Or if you have really sensitive, sensitive skin, or if you just prefer a razor with a blade neutral fill, this is it, guys. This is solid. Look at this. But it still takes off the lather and it still has a standardized DE angle, right? One of the Henson uh, complaints is that it's not a standard fill of like a safety razor, you know, a standard safety razor fill, whereas this has that set standard safety razor fill to it. But it still offers a very mild and very, it's just kind of no brain mode, right? Just easy head shaving mode. Now, again, there is a lot of discussion on should Yachi, right, offer the razor with a, a spring that's better, a, a spring that's not going to bend like it does, or should they just make it so like the it's like the Rex where you can't disassemble it, right? There's a lot of discussion right now on the if you disassemble the razor fully and you don't assemble it perfectly right and you or you really torque it down, you can bend that so it doesn't adjust level anymore. And I know that Rex also had that problem. And I know that's why that they um, glue their razors now, right? They don't want them on assembling or having problems while people shave. This is smooth. We are perfectly smooth now. I would not shave any further than this. Yeah, so I know that the, there's a lot of questions on how to make the razor, um, I don't know, a little more friendly when it comes down to disassembly uh, or if they should make it so you can disassemble it. For me, my personal opinion is if you take care of it, you don't torque in things down, take care of it. Mine doesn't have any problems with the blade adjustment wheel, had no issues from the factory. I honestly, I'm, I have no issues with the fit and finish on mine whatsoever. And I feel bad for those that do. And keep in mind that, that it was something that happened. So I do want it out there. I want to be completely transparent and open and honest about that. There is something to be said that, um, some of the ones they were, that were set, some people said that they were, they never adjusted right. 
I believe them. I do tend to believe them. I think that if there is that kind of issue, that it should be warranted. And I have seen back and forth where it wasn't warranted. Now, I, I, I hate favoring one side or the other, but I do want to make it just out in the open. So this razor for me does shave a little bit different. They're 30 grams different, right? This is 81 or 82, 84 grams, whereas others 111. So this is a little bit lighter. And on the skin filled, right? Because it has the scallop bar. You do feel the scallop bar. So if you look at these side by side, right? Look at the bar. This bar on the right actually approaches a little bit earlier on the brass side of things. So this one's got less approach. And what ends up happening is you feel a lot of that scallop the whole entire time you're riding on it. It's not, this has a little bit more blade presence to it too on the six. And I'm not really sure why. I, it could be the way that they've changed that bar. And again, that bar has changed. It, it went from a scallop bar to a flat bar. And because of that, I, you definitely get a different skin fill. And it, I get a little bit more blade fill out of this razor. Just a teeny, teeny bit. It doesn't feel quite as neutral as the um, brass one does to me. At least to me. Keep in mind, that's just to me. The razors are essentially the same razor. Um, some of the big differences, and I'll have photos um, down below, is if you take them apart side by side, one has three holes. Um, the Final Cut ZMAC has three holes, kind of like the old type or vintage razors that had three hole punches on the bottom, whereas the new one does not. It's completely sealed in, which is kind of nice. I actually like the three, um, the non-three hole version better. I think it looks a little cleaner and a little bit more put together. Personally, I like that better. I actually like it a little bit better. Um, it reminds me more of like the traditional Gibbs with it being kind of recessed in, inside the razor, all of it combined in a below. I'm telling you, this, this is a really good shave though. Uh, for 30 bucks, I have to admit, like if I was looking at both razors side by side, I probably would still be okay with buying the final cut because the $30, diff the $70 difference for me wouldn't warrant the decision to, just based on shave alone, right? If I didn't own both, I would just say, eh, I'm going to go with the cheaper one because the shave's pretty close, really close. Now, here's where I really feel like you should favor buying the, the brass one is it is going to last lifetimes, right? This right here, as long as you take care of it, it, it the material link on the tooling, it's a lifetime razor, right? It's not going to completely erode like ZMAC can and has a tendency to if it, um, the coating isn't maintained. So I do, and that's only if it's not really maintained. So we have a lot of razors that are 80 years old in ZMAC. I want to mention that again, there are razors 80 years old in ZMAC that are still fully functioning and um, still in great shape. So if you take care of it, yes, it can last, but I like to refer to just, you know, Murphy's Law in the situation. It's gonna fail, it's gonna fail, it's gonna fail fast. So I like the brass in that situation. I like that it is a razor that is going to last. Really good shave on both sides. I'm not gonna lie, really good shave. Again, this is like three or four steps below the Rex Ambassador as far as blade fill and efficiency and um, kind of performance. When you compare it to the console, right, the Rex console, I think that this razor right here, it tends to be, it falls a little short on efficiency side when it co really comes down to it. But if you're looking for that kind of really mild shape, it is right up there. I'm just gonna wipe off really quick and do a double check. Very good shape on both sides. And that's the thing is every time I've picked this up, I've been shocked at the shape. The efficiency is kind of like, it's sneaky. It comes out and it really does a good job without really having any bitey fill or problems. I really like both razors. I won't lie, I like both of them. Let's see how they stack up if we relather and and um, go on the other side. Movie magic, and we're all lathered up. I just don't want to take your guys' time lathering up. So here we go. Let's knock this other side down, see if we get anything off of the ZMAX side. Again, this razor is, in my opinion, it's a titch smoother, actually, than the ZMAX version. And that could be the weight. That could just be the little bit of extra handle that I'm getting a hold of. It could also just be the way that that the tooling and the bar meet the razor blade, right? The way that the... Um, bar sits against the skin, then it goes up to the way it ramps up to the blade. For some reason, it's just a little bit smoother. I'm not getting any stubble off of the off the Final Cut side, the ZMAX side, and I didn't think I would. They shave very similarly. I do think this has a little bit, again, just a little, it's a little bit smoother and a little less um, blade presence for me, which is kind of surprising. The one time, I, the couple times I've used the Final Cut, I've always said to myself, that's very mild. This is even more mild. 
it's nice. It's a very, very easy kill. There's no um, stubble coming off that side. It's a very easy kill, very even, um, just a very mild tempered little guy, a little, little shaver. Very nice, especially on the dome where you kind of sometimes, you know, you may have extra, extra sensitive skin, especially with the weather's changing, right? As it gets colder into uh, the, the fall months, it may feel like you need something that's a little more mild. This is really fits that bill. You guys can see here, no stubble whatsoever in that lather. I'm not getting any stubble. I, I got a couple pieces of my uh, my brush here, but really nothing as far as the stubble goes. So I would say that it's this uh, ZMAC did shave as close as the new one would shave, right? Look at this, I'm having a hard time even getting lather to like switch over onto that other side. It's that close. All right, let's get over to this, this side. And again, more blade presence on this one for sure. And again, that could be the scallop bar. That could be a lot of things, but I am getting ever slightly more blade fill. And I'm also getting a little less smooth of a ride, which is surprising. I really am surprised because this is a very smooth razor for me. So when you stack them side by side, it really shows, it really comes out how much different the brass one is. The brass is a little bit smoother for me and maybe a hitch just an ever slightly uh, more comfortable as far as pass for pass yeah just barely more comfortable i'm not really i've never slide um you know said that this razor on my hand right now the z mac one was uncomfortable in the slightest but it's just a little bit less comfortable than the brass one just a little bit no no stubble coming off though yeah i'm gonna say these are the same exact closeness so if they're exactly the same in closeness, no stubble, no stubble. Look at this. It's surprising to me with how similar they shave. If they really don't shave any different, then you have to ask yourself, is it worth the money, right? And you're looking at yourself and saying, is it worth the money based on the shave quality? Is it worth the money if I want a razor that is um, fully brass? Here's my opinions. Okay, here's my opinions. Both razors require a better spring in my opinion that is my opinion here i did swap the spring out on my razor for the rex ambassador spring i feel like it produces more tension and torque inside the head cap for the heavier brass material that for me in my opinion you don't have to do that you can buy them i will have a link down below to matt's website where you can purchase the rex ambassador simply just the rex ambassador spring i think if you do any upgrades to your yachi razor whether it's this one or this one do that upgrade. If you bent your spring and it's not up, uh, you know, level, if it's, if it's not adjusting level, swap the spring out for a Rex Ambassador one, it'll fix the problem. I would almost 99% sure guarantee it. Unless it's got a threading issue, which I don't think it should, that should all be resolved. I think personally from the heart with the updated spring, I would still buy the brass one. It's a little bit smoother. It's a little bit more um, comfortable on the skin pass for pass and they're the same efficiency. Now, if I was on a budget, right? I was on a budget that I would definitely not purchase, not purchase the brass one because the final cut Z-Mac shaves just as close. I want to mention that again, just as close for me. Both razors are extremely mild. They are very even kill, very no uh, kind of nonsense shavers. For me, you guys can see this, my after splash is having a hard time even getting into the skin. It's that close. It's a beautiful subdermal shave. Subdermal level right here. Really good shave on both sides. So you have to kind of ask yourself, am I looking, am I wanting material and tooling that's like really nice? Or do I want to save some money and go with a razor that maybe not last as long, but it's going to give me an equal shave? It's up to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that was interesting and exciting and enjoyable and provides a little bit of, of information on what these two razors are, kind of where they are in the market and what's happening with them and people's experiences and how they shaped for me. Thank you guys again so much for being here. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. Hope you have beautiful mornings and days going forward and I'll catch you in the next Subi Shaves video. Subs. 